on the vast and rugged landscapes of South America, a graceful creature roams, embodying the spirit of the open plains, the guanaco, scientifically known as Lama Guanaco. Join us as we embark on a journey into the world of this iconic came lid, exploring its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. The guanaco holds an almost mythical place in South American lore as the wild forefather of the domestic llama and alpaca whose fleece and labor transformed ancient civilizations. While once roaming ecosystems from Peru to Tierra del Fuego in herds of hundreds, uncontrolled hunting has devastated populations now occupying less than 25% of their historic range. As the dominant large herbivore across arid Patagonian regions, the fate of the guanaco serves as an important ecological barometer for distinct biomes of extreme latitudes. Halting declines of this cherished ungulate require protecting increasingly fragmented territories and restoring native grasslands able to support viable long-term populations. Evolutionary History Of the four members of the Camelid tribe Lamini endemic to South America, the guanaco stands apart as the sole extant wild species whose ancestors were first domesticated giving rise to the llama. Shared ancestry traces back around six million years to the late Miocene when the earliest came lids migrated to the continent from their origins in North America. Through the Pliocene and early Pleistocene epochs, guanaco progenitors underwent gradual adaptations towards mixed feeders capable of thriving in more open habitats emerging across Patagonia, the Atacama Desert, and Central Andean regions. As recently as 10,000 years ago, the Pampa Guanaco lineage occupied expansive ranges until growing human populations initiated their decline through overexploitation. Early domestication efforts 8,000 years ago secured their legacy as ancestors to llama and alpaca breeds that formed the backbone of pre Columbian societies across the Andes. Morphological description The Guanaco exhibits classic came lid features, including a slender neck and elongated limbs supporting a narrow torso well suited for speed and agility across open grassland terrain. Adults stand at around 3.3 feet tall at the shoulder reaching nearly 6 feet nose to tail and typically weigh between 250 to 290 pounds on average. Their fawn to cinnamon brown pelage consists of soft fluffy guard hairs overlaying dense insulating underfur that enables regulating internal temperatures across extremes of heat and cold common in Patagonia. The face displays distinctive long eyelashes along with a tapered muzzle shape allowing selective grazing on various grasses, shrubs, and herbs critical during times of drought or snow. In males, canine teeth protrude outward when the mouth is closed a feature thought to determine dominance in neck wrestling contests between competitors. Sturdy padded hooves with leathery soles provide stability traversing loose soils or rocky slopes. Highly adapted digestive systems allow obtaining nutrients from fibrous and even toxic vegetation avoided by other grazers. Ecology Throughout historic ranges across Argentina into Ecuador spanning diverse biomes like steppe grasslands, scrub forests, and barren montane landscapes, guanacos play vital roles grazing on over 60 identified plant species critical to ecosystem health. As the most common large native herbivore, their selective browsing and trampling prunes vegetation encouraging regrowth other animals rely on. Guanaco digestive tracts also enable spreading viable seeds across habitat zones fertilizing expansive areas. Once social groups intermingled during seasonal migrations involving thousands of animals tracking resources across vast terrain. But fragmentation has increasingly isolated family clusters typically no more than 12 individuals today led by a dominant male tasked with protecting young from predators like cougars. Females breed at 2 years old with a 11.5-month gestation carrying a single offspring termed a chulengo, who remains closely attached for the first year until independence. Natural lifespans reach 20 years though just half survive their first decade due to variable climate stressors and the high energy needs of reproduction taking a toll on females. Range contraction places guanacos at increasing risk of inbreeding which may depress immunity to diseases during infrequent population booms when conditions allow herd numbers to temporarily swell once more. Habitat and Behavior 
Guanacos reside exclusively in the open landscapes or semi-arid to arid grasslands common to southern South America east of the Andes spanning sea level up to nearly 13,000 feet elevation in Peru and Bolivia. Across their fragmented range they frequent plateaus, plains, deserts and savannas largely devoid of woodlands where visibility remains unobstructed allowing detection of the predators they evolved evading. During mornings and afternoons, family groups emerge from nighttime resting spots concealed near ravines or tucked within vegetation along waterways to graze while maintaining coordinated vigilance. If alarmed by sharp nasal calls from sentinels, Guanaco flee together able to run at sustained speeds over 35 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest land mammals across short distances in the Americas. Their sinewy endurance suits traveling 20 miles a day migrating across ancestral routes in search of high-protein grasses, lichens, and herb blooms. Social behaviors play out in the herds where adult males assert dominance, and defending rights to breed females through aggressive displays and wrestling where long canine teeth may inflict harm to rivals during disputes. Split upper lips allow spitting threats up to distances over six feet warding off subordinate males. Yet guanacos remain highly gregarious and most skirmishes and once established hierarchies are respected across the group. Seasonal breeding follows summer months with peak births in early autumn after delayed implantation helping time lactation with peaks in food supplies to better ensure Kilengo's survival. The young rapidly gain independence though adolescent males form associations lasting years before acquiring their own breeding territories. Females tend to remain with natal groups. Conclusion Overhunting and habitat deterioration have pushed once abundant guanaco populations into retreat where they now occupy just a fraction of their historic range. Their modern strongholds in Patagonia face growing threats as climate shifts and expanding livestock grazing constrict survivable habitat and strain the resilience of family herds. While commercial use restrictions have reduced exploitative takings, Recovery efforts remain hampered by insufficient protective lands and connectivity between dispersed populations. Strategic planning for landscape-scale reserve networks able to support roaming guanacos remains paramount to preventing extinction events across isolated subpopulations over the coming decades. Integrating communities into stewardship and finding coexistence models balancing economic needs with sustainable use levels offers hope for stabilization. But the window for conservation action grows short as guanaco herds continue losing viable habitat and struggle to adjust to hotter, drier regions. Preserving these charismatic mammals ensures thriving Patagonian grasslands benefiting all who call it home for generations to come.